Okay. All right. Um, Assalamualaikum and good morning to all of you. So welcome to today's webinar session titled Compassion in Digital Realms, the Contribution of Social Media to Compassion. So um, as usual, before we get started, I would like to go over a few things. Okay, so um, dear audience, you have the opportunity to get the e-certificate. So what you need to do, you just need to click on the link provided on our Facebook page. You just fill in a form and submit. All right, so you, you will get the e-certificate. Okay, you may also send in your questions at any time during the session, and we will try to address them at the end of today's presentation. Okay, and um, thank you to Juan Hafiza, um, the IT program coordinator, for coming up with the idea for today's topic. Okay, all right. So it gives me a great pleasure to introduce our speaker today, who is going to share her thoughts, knowledge, and experiences about today's topic. All right, so um, Dr. Shahida, a professional with Dr. Philosophy, PhD, which focuses in business IT mobile commerce that currently servicing UNIKL as a senior lecturer in business IT. Okay, Dr. Shida has wide knowledge of producing various business and academic write-up with data analysis skills, which combine her accumulated experience of more than 10 years of in multi-industry. Okay, and she, she was a former special officer to economic advisor to Fenango MB has given her a lot of opportunities in diversified knowledge and skills and also involved in developing strategic ecosystem for Selangor economics. She's also an experienced consultant that currently involved in her own online business, promoting healthy lifestyle therapy. So we, we, we can get more um, advice from Dr. Shahida after this. All right, and Dr. Shahida also is very passionate in providing education and writing consultation for postgraduate candidates and sharing motivational session. So I am very pleased to welcome Dr. Shahida Shabi, which is also known as Dr. Shida, for our webinar session today. Good morning, Dr. Shida. How are you today? Thank you. Good morning. Alhamdulillah. Cik Zurianti. Thank you for inviting <laughs> me and the viewers. <laughs> Happy weekend, by the way. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I can see you. A great weekend today. <laughs> yep. All right. So, um, maybe, 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 maybe you can um, talk a little mm. bit about um, compassion in digital world today, in social compassion. media. Can you introduce right. it to us. Mm -mm. Okay, so basically, people, uh, I, I would say based on the data itself, we, we do have like or more than 80% uh, youth or young people or mil millennials, pe uh, people nowadays call them. Uh, they will have, uh, the minimum will be Twitter and Instagram. Facebook, uh, like, like like something that I've been read in uh, some researchers, they've, they've been mentioned that face, Facebook, it's it's more on like uh, the, in the information sharing platform for not so-called young people My, and maybe like those people in um in the midst of 30s uh those those group of people they have the kind of uh the facebook account because they feel that they 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 grow up with this platform but for young people especially the students the students who are actually enroll in the university colleges uc schools most of them they are very uh they are wiser they are more uh, passionate compared to us when 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 we talk about the social media so when we we say on the compassionate part it involves the feelings it involves the accountability uh, so for me like even though uh, either you are young or you are younger or you're older there is uh, some ethicals that we need to consider when we go online all right. So, but after this, we will share some sort of the the main content lah. What 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 we can go through together this morning. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, um, right. before Miss um before Doctor Shahida continue with her presentation after this, um, we we, we need to know what, what compassion is. So, Doctor Shahida already mm -hmm. explained to us 
uh, what compassion is um, and how does it relate to um, social media. And we know that mm-hmm. today's generation of teenagers, the young adults, which is um, uh, 20s to um, early 30s, right? Yeah. Okay, our youth today, they, they are, um, they, they love to play around with social media, all right, which also play um, an important role in the development mm-hmm. and maintaining mm-hmm. of their friendship. They, they create mm-hmm. a lot of virtual friends, right? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we can see that um, today's generation, the young people, yes. they are so active on social media and the new pressures and challenges compared to previous generation, which is us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, so 40s, <laughs> 30, 40. So yep. the, the new pressures and challenges, um, I think it, 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 this is um, it is also relevant with the technological advance, especially in yes, our society. Exactly, exactly. So, um, yeah. we are happy to see Dr. Shaida here to share her knowledge and skills. So, Dr. Shaida, maybe you can share your presentation now. Okay, all right. Thank you, Cik Yanti, and thank you, uh, the viewers and also the organizer of the project itself. Uh, hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Shahida. Just call me Shida. Okay, uh, for, for today's session, we will go through some of the, maybe, I'm not actually uh, came from the psychology uh, unit or departments or practicing that, but but this is what, what we gain from our research. This is something that we gain from our observation. We do have a focus group of students that 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 we uh, observe and and we found out that uh, compassion itself it's it's so related with the empathical feelings and also your personal development as a person. Regardless, either you 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 are you are very good. I mean, like in academics, okay, is a, uh, I mean in career or in a certain line that, that you're being expert in. But when it comes to whatever that you posted online or you, when you go online, right, you will find out that you have to be uh, so responsible in whatever that you have posted or shared, right? Because early in this morning, uh, early this morning, actually, Cik Yanti has, has, has posted uh, some sort of like the sensitivity issue. Uh, is it, is it um, uh, relevant or practical for people like us and a uh, common people, the commoners, to post something that uh, might might have a sensitivity uh, triggers to the government or other servicing agency for the people. For me, I don't have a specific objective answer. All right. So we we will say that if, if you post A, you have to be responsible for that A consequences. Okay. So without... Um, Without uh, further ado, let's let's do a uh, go to uh, some sharing. So we hope that uh, it will somehow benefit or beneficial to uh, each one of us when when we goes online after this, right? So I know that most of the viewers they are young people, they are those millennials, okay? <laughs> Compared to me and some of the some of the uh, the the project groups, okay? The organizer maybe. People like us, we have another groups of user, okay, compared to the young yes, people, yes. to the millionaires, right? <laughs> right? Okay, so let's 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 find out. Uh, let's try to go through and explore what what are the things that uh, might be uh, could be interesting for you. All right, okay. Thank you, Dr. Alright, okay. Uh, this is reflecting to your the the title that being that being uh, muted the ideas that being muted on the compassion in digital realms. It's kind of very good title because most of the time we think about how can we go far, how can we go advanced in digital and technology development. People always talk about IR 4.0, people will talk about IR 4.5. But now, uh, whether we are ready or not, we are actually coming back to the human nature. We are coming back to maybe IR 5.0 that, that talking about human development as a good capacity. All right. So uh, I hope that everyone can 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 view the same screen as mine on the slide itself. So we'll be looking uh, at the contribution of social media to being compassion. All right. So okay. Basically, uh, when we wanted to share on something, there must be a good solid uh, evidence or relevant statistic that we can uh, make us. I mean, like 
as an eye opener a bit. All right. So basically, this is uh, based on the uh, peerresearch.org, and also uh, I've I've get this this uh, graph from a statista. Uh, dot com on the year of 2020. So it mentioned that 95% of youth report they have a smartphone or the access to one. So we can just imagine, let's say we do have the population of young people about a 40% from the national pop, the population of the Malaysia, right? So from that 40%, 95% of young people, they, they own that smartphone, the, that, that device that make that can make us go almost everywhere. Right, and uh, the graph below it shows that the share of handphone user who own a smartphone in Malaysia as of February 2019, based on the age groups. Okay, you will see that those people in uh, middle middle school, sekolah rendah, sekolah menengah. Okay, even uh, even my niece nephew at the age of uh, eight, they already own a phone. So I think this is not alien for us anymore. Betul tak, Kak Yanti? Uh, Cik Yanti, alright, because I used to call her. Okay, um, no problem. so basically below 20 years old, 86.3% having these devices. Uh, last time, people might not able to live without, without what? Without um, books um, or without some cash in hand. But you can Our find that. We have yeah. only more men. <laughs> yes, ah, we do have a this man, what man, this man, and then yeah. US, uh, I mean like... <laughs> Uh, the MP3 player during that time, uh, into early of 2000, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, when we yeah, talk yeah. about now, majority of us, we can't even live or we can't even go through a day without having our phone on by, I mean, like by our side, right? Yeah, so yeah, it is as, yeah, this is something that, that actually reflecting that how we are actually being, being, being not saying that too dependent on that device but this is some or some sort of the the necessity for us keperluan the needs for us okay so and plus because of the pandemic itself uh you, when wherever you go whenever you go you have to bring along your mobile phone your smartphone because you need to scan here and there all right so this is sort of like uh you can keep track your movement, your location, because this is more on the safety issue. All right. So 20 to 34 years old might have a like 87%. Okay. But when we go down to the road or we, 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 we getting older and wiser, okay, maybe we might have a less access or maybe we don't really, really depending much or own a smartphone. Okay. Mungkin masa you muda tu, okay, there is so many excitement. There is so many, uh, friends okay the virtual friends as what uh, Chek Yanti has mentioned just now right so you wanted to share with people but uh in the same time uh you will realize that when we, you when you are getting wiser you are getting older actually getting older lah maybe there is a uh, more commitment that we have to commit with so the usage of the handphones to somehow keep on reducing right so you will see that uh the our our parents our grandparents that they might not really well versed with uh, or they are not really familiar with the usage of the handphones in fact in fact the usage of the social media okay <clears throat> so there is some uh, statistic shows that uh, 37 of youth report having experienced cyberbullying we talk about being compassionate we talk about being empathy. We talk about personal development online that related to the content that we view every day, right? 37% of youth reported that they are having experience being cyberbullied, which means that says 63% that have not experienced cyberbullying yet, but 37%, right? Basically, this research has been done in year 2018. So you can just imagine with the the uh, free access gateway, with the with the uh, with the competitive needs that that the young people or the the older people having now, you can imagine how this number actually grow without we realize it. Maybe we don't feel that because we don't experience that, but somehow you might encounter that your friends that being body shaming, 
color shaming uh race i mean like being being uh being being bullied in 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 terms of uh the race or ethnicity right well 87 percent youth report having witnessed cyber bullying cyber bullying is not uh just reflecting to the social media the content that you viewed or you share whenever you watch it in the youtube also can be considered that you are witnessing a cyber bullying all right there is uh some um psychology impact to the person who witness and to the person that 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 being bullied and to those person who are involved in that experience it somehow will uh, affect their 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 personal characteristic when they go online okay it's maybe in uh before this we are not very familiar with the terms uh the school kids or the university student they go depressed anxiety they go through depression last time benda ni is is kind of kurang-kurang kita dengar lah okay may, maybe during our time we don't have the access to this kind of platform but nowadays you will see that okay standard six student having a depression because of they have to go through some some uh, online learning experience maybe they have to go through some tests maybe some of the the uh, ni, expectation by the parents itself so even the young kids also being be exposed to the depression there are the uh, apa ni orang kata the risk to be exposed to that depression yeah. ataupun anxiety the right risk is everywhere <clears throat> Yes, tapi last time kita susah nak dengar tau. Oh, darjah enam dia ada isu apa ah? Kalau dia depressed, tak ada. Susah sangatlah kita nak dengar macam budak-budak budak standard 6. Ah, uh, akak saya saya stres. Susah nak dengar perkataan tu ataupun saya depressed. Stres tu normal is the common mood kan. Ah, uh, tapi sekarang yes, macam yes. budak. Ya, yeah, budak tingkatan 3, I rasa I depressed. Wow. I was like I'm quite shocked because depressed ni is not something that um it's not a joke. It's a big issue actually, right? It's a big issue. Yeah. So somehow when we talk about being compassionate and, and how does the social media content build you mm-hmm. to be a compassion person, a compassionate okay. person. Benda tu memang related. Okay. okay. Correct, so correct. it's very, betul, betul kan Cik? Cik Yanti kan? Yes, uh, yes, I agree with you. Benda ni uh, among students lah, because I know that majority of the viewers are young people. Uh, if you you feel that if you feel you are aware that you are having this kind of issue regardless because of what maybe because of dating problem relationship problem bercinta money problem family problem look for a person that you can talk to that you can trust though. because not everything that you can post it and not everyone do care about what you have posted actually after this yeah, we will go through exactly. what, what will be the the main topic that people who are uh, i mean the, the main topic normally people posted in the social media okay so 76 percent report feel confident that they can handle cyberbullying on their own ini 2018 now is 2021 76 percent rasa they can handle this kind of thing but you will sometimes when it comes to this um apa orang kata this kind of issue okay cyberbullying ni sampai ada orang uh they deactivate the account they become down they become depressed sedih dan sebagainya okay right um uh, okay we'll be look at on okay right maybe now we can help people uh here and there kita, kita, kita tak boleh kan because of the social distancing we we, we know that but you need to remember that uh, there there must be there always a person that always care about you and always can offer you uh, a virtual hug get get this kind of a virtual hug virtual virtual care from your friends from your family those those students those young people who are staying or those people who are staying with their family they might have a a, a clearer bubble a better bubble a healthier bubble because you being with your family okay but for those maybe that that staying alone nowadays okay and maybe you think that you've been staying with your friends and uh it's okay to post 
some of the feelings online <clears throat> but you have to remember that there are always a person that do care about you all right okay so basically uh, this is some of the main topic what what young people always post online always okay post online. always post online so you will see that everyone wanted to share good news Turn. Yeah, Contoh, yeah, uh, I call cheap three pointer. It's not something to to show off for me, alright? Or maybe you help your neighbor, you help your your friends. You are been visiting those people who are raise up the white flags, kan? Untuk you membantu. For me, this is an accomplishment, a good sharing that you can share with people, okay? Because at the end of the day, it will reflecting to your your intention, your hati, your niat. You nak tolong orang, you want to inspire more people, you can share this kind of accomplishment. So, this is the most uh, favorite things that people would love to share online. Okay, but <clears throat> if you found that, okay, um, I don't want to share my achievement. I don't want to share the good news because you think that uh, most of people might jeopardize some of the good news. Okay, there is, there is something, uh, there is a reset of uh, mind setting that we need works on if you do have that feelings actually okay because you may you may found that okay you may have like 1000 follower or 1000 friends uh, on the facebook okay not everyone will uh, might uh, ataupun not everyone having a, a bad intention to other people you will found that 99 percent of them they orang memang akan support you Okay, so accomplishment adalah benda yang selalunya uh, we, we love to post, young people love to post it. Okay, because somehow it will reflect it to the viewer, reflect it to your follower, your friends who read that, who view that story ataupun view that post, membantu mereka, okay, yeah, let's see things from a different view ataupun different perspective when you share the good things. I'm not saying that uh, life is so all the time beautiful, tak ada. Dia macam all the time rainbow, tak, tak. Dia ada time ups and down. So, bagi I, yes, you just being you, you just share things that makes you happy and maybe the things that makes you happy can make other people happier. Alright? So, beside that, diorang akan post on family. Ada gambar family, it's about family, getting a new, new niece, new nephew, new brother-in-law ke, ataupun kan. Alright, so, this is some of the the uh, things, the contents that people ataupun especially the young 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 adults lah, young adults yang memang they they being connected through a social media, okay. And then we also we found that about uh, people who posted about their their present emotion, their present situation, and feelings in dating life. Contoh lah, kalau macam. Uh, Millennials ni ataupun those young adults ni, they have a relationship kan. So, maybe they just wanted to share their feelings, a present feelings during that time. Mungkin dia sedih ke, okay. Mungkin dia rasa being cheated on ke, okay. But the content is not so directly talking about, oh, I've been cheated on. Tak. Mungkin dia can share quotes, quotes that people get it from Pinterest, that people get it from the Google image. So, they can check, they can share this kind of uh, content indirectly. Okay. So, for those uh, friends, okay, virtual friends that do care about you, they will take some action. They feel empathy. They feel compassionate to, 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 to talk to you. Okay. Because you share this onlinely. So, they will, um, selalunya diorang akan macam, okay, maybe they WhatsApp you. Maybe they DM you, maybe their personal message you, okay? Just wanted to know how are you doing, all right? So this is where the social media, we we can't say it's just like um negative reflection all the time because there are a lot of things that we can get from a social media itself. Okay, besides that, we'll be reflected on the personal problems, okay? Either you be a bit open up lah. You be open up kalau you ada masalah. Contoh, you being molested. Contoh, contoh eh. Contoh. Ataupun you being uh, bullied. Okay. Uh, mentally. Okay. Benda yang orang tak nampak. Okay. So, mungkin you boleh post it. But, bear in mind. Whatever that you posted, you have to be 
in charge. You have to take charge. No? All right. Last but not least, uh, a very small percentage on this when people sharing about religious or political belief. Macam tadi lah, I mentioned on when when Cik Yanti tanya on the sensitive, the sensitive ni issue kan. Um, most of us, kita akan cuba untuk not go beyond that selalunya. But, but, but we have to consider lah. We have to learn and and we have to make sure that what whatever that we posted, dia takkan trigger benda yang tidak sepatutnya. Right? But for me, if you think that, okay, I want to to preach about my religion, then okay. Tak, because you don't force people, you are not saying that, oh, I am the only person who are good, okay, or my religion is the right religion. We cannot do that sebenarnya. But if you dare to do that, then you take charge on that lah. Right? While well, the political belief, now we might having more freedom lah. More freedom in 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 saying things online. Ataupun in a video. Dah ramai dah orang macam berani bersuara kan. Because this is what you really feel inside. Okay? Plus with the pandemic punya situation. Plus with the economic downturn dan sebagainya. We are so human. We do have our feelings. And then maybe... Um, some of us we feel that okay this is the this is the most ataupun this is the safest platform for me to share what i do feel okay all right so we talk about engaging and embracing um, the compassion in terms of the social media okay uh, this is basically what we do normally lah dalam ni dalam apa plat platform ni kan because uh, because it is so portable, you can tweet anywhere, you can post anywhere, you can capture story anywhere, you can upload those kind of things anywhere. Because it gives us the instantly satisfaction, instant satisfaction. You will find that when your friends view, can. Uh, so, bila you nampak your friends view, your friends comment, you feel, uh, okay, there are, there are someone, there are friends who are actually supporting me. Macam tu lah. And then in the same time, macam Cik Yanti mentioned tadi, um, some of us, we might have more numbers of virtual friends compared to the physical friends. Okay, <laughs> tapi Ansi yeah. dulu mention. Kan? Kita memang ramai kawan-kawan dalam social media especially. Ataupun you ada, if you have a YouTube channel, you might have a more numbers of sub, apa, subscriber kan? Subscriber, so, follower. Betul. Yeah, because that, that will be one of the way how the millionaires making money. Zaman yeah. kita tak ada lah. Zaman kita macam kurang sikit kan. <laughs> okay. Mungkin the exposure is not there lah. Right, so we just wanted to connect to others because we are the social animal. Human, memang dia suka connect to each other. Sebab tu bila the government said, oh you have to stay at home, you cannot go to the campus, you have to work from home, learn from home. For the first quarter, three months yang pertama, okay lah. Okay, okay, eh best lah duduk rumah, okay seronok. Okay? Uh, then you have your own time, your own freedom, you, you you don't have to wake up so early because you want, uh, because you need to 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 travel to your workplace ataupun you need to travel to your campus. Okay? Uh, but through time, when it become a second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter dan penuh satu tahun, dua tahun setengah, you akan rasa macam oh, Yes, uh, because you th you think okay, this is the social playground for me because I cannot meet up my friends, I cannot go to the school, I cannot go to university colleges, so this is the only way for me to connect to my friends. Okay, that's why you will see the contents people posted online. Orang dah start bu buat YouTube channel, orang start buat TikTok account. Okay, uh, honestly, I don't have TikTok account. Jujurnya lah. Okay, because I, I'm, 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 I'm not familiar how to explore and and use that TikTok account in the first place. Okay, are you? you I mean, like people like us, like macam I dengan Cik Yanti, mungkin you boleh consider as a, as a, a bit, uh, ni, early millennials lah. Ah, uh, kita bukan millennials yang betul-betul millennials lah. But young student, young adults, young people, memang TikTok. Maybe it's a must for them. Instagram put is a must for them. I do have uh, some experience asking my my students. Uh, my students ni, they are completing their bachelor. So age lebih kurang dalam uh, 20, 20 to 23 lah. When I ask them, okay, how many of you having Facebook? Surprisingly, lebih kurang dalam 5% saja yang ada Facebook. 
most of them they are they are they're focusing on uh, apa ni Twitter, lepas tu dekat Instagram and also TikTok account because they said that this platform giving them more freedom to to share visual, to share videos, to share uh, apa ni ideas, okay? Alright, besides that, uh, it's also reflecting to our exploration of identity. What account you follow, what video you view, it's really reflecting to yourself, your character development. Kalau you suka tengok sports, uh, and then it's somehow that reflecting you punya interest lah. Okay, and social media ni pun, if if we 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 have some issues in controlling the usage it can become the addictive punya nature lah you akan keep on checking on your social media or you feel that oh i really need to update about almost everything in the social media so but indirectly we might uh, we might overlook what would be the effect to us okay in terms of kita by having the feelings ataupun having some of the feedbacks from that social media posting. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so there are basically the four categories that indicated as to why youth engage socially on the internet. Number satu because this give you or increase our self-esteem. All right. Because compassion actually motivates people to go out of their way, their way to help the physical, mental or emotional pains of another and themselves. Compassion is about having the urge, uh, the urge to help people, the urge to, to, to reflecting uh, good things to other people because you feel that if I do good things, I can inspire more people. And indirectly, the content that, that we, we view every day Right, the feeds that came in to our mobile phones, these are the content that built our day, every day, daily. Inilah content yang you akan go through. That's why uh, I always share with, with, with friends and also with family and students, you have to make sure that the first thing first in the morning yang you view adalah benda yang baik-baik, kalau boleh. Alright, tapi... If one morning, one fine morning, you 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 wake up with um, sad feelings, okay, because of something that happened last night, and then you have to try and try to get um, some sort of uh, apa ni orang kata uh, positive energy vibes. You mungkin you boleh dengan music that 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 inspire you. You boleh you 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 can dance. You can go for for uh, run, you can read something, you can makan whatever that you wanted to makan because you think, okay, for me, the food, this food make me happier. So you do that, right? So there are four, four categories that, that actually reflected to the uh, compassion building in our self. Lah. First will be the self-esteem. Okay, self-esteem, self macam yang I mentioned lah. I mentioned on the how those content actually reflecting or increasing our self-esteem. That's why the cyber bullying actually damaging the self-esteem, the self-confidence among us, also among people. Okay, uh, bullying ni is not like physical sahaja, but when people actually uh, try to 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 open it to jeopardize your image onlinely, people posted very very bad words, bad or neg negative comments. Okay, or pe other or other people reviewed about what you have posted negatively on the negative perspective that's one that that one also can be considered as a bullet online okay second will be on the connectedness okay uh kita, kita we just want to make sure that um when we connected as a friend okay in a social media okay we try our best to being connected okay as a friend outside the platform as well because this is where the real the real compassion motivates us and also the friends the friendship okay while uh, besides that uh, there are some uh, there are some of pool of information that we get from the social media from the channel the youtube channel or from the online content itself okay because this is the access to information that 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 make us um, explore more about some topics that we are interested in. So, uh, this is a 
like like a very basic sharing that that I've that I've been experienced me myself. Um, I barely read newspaper, okay, except online lah. Okay, I jarang-jarang tengok news kecuali I dengar to the radio channel sahaja. But when when I wanted to know what is happening today, you macam you macam fikir okay, I nak ambil tahu lah pasal apa yang viral hari ini because some some of the viral content. It's uh, the actual content that we need to know. So maybe something to do with the uh, uh, vaccination ke? Maybe something to do with the Olympic Games ke? That, that, that become viral. But not everything viral content is the bad things. Because viral ni maknanya is being spread, being distributed widely. Itu dia, dia, dia jadi viral. But but for, for, for the content to become viral, there must be some content in that particular content yang membuatkan the message that we found in that content, in that video. Sebab tu dia jadi viral. So normally I will go straight forward. I will go straight to the um, Facebook. Because in Instagram, you will find that uh, ataupun Twitter. Twitter memang cepat in terms of updating. The viral, the trending punya issue kan. So if you don't have time to read or to to watch news, in a formal punya media kan, in the mainstream media, most of us, we will go to the social media. Twitter lah yang paling banyak sekali update hari-hari. Apa yang, it's not hari-hari lah, every hours ada new trend of of issue that you can click, you can read, you can um, absorb and you have to process lepas tu you kena fahamkan. But, um, I mean like the information that we get access from the online ataupun social media is not everything yang you boleh fit yourself. Because what, whatever that you fit yourself, you makan ataupun what, what, what you read, what you watch, this is something yang akan build you punya uh, character, you punya personal development. Okay. And last but not least, the, the fourth categories why young people, the the uh, school students, the university punya student, they got engaged, engaged socially in the internet because they wanted to express themselves because they have the voice, they have the views actually. Macam if we compare in the 15 years back, the students, masa zaman I study, zaman uh, Cik Yanti study kan, uh, we do have our own opinion. Maybe about subjects, maybe about results, maybe about the political masa tu. Mungkin, mungkin lah masa tu kan. But we we somehow, kita tidak being so expressive. Okay? There's so, no channel for us to express ourselves. Yes, I time, rasa right? zaman, yeah, ah. zaman kita dahulu very limited media channel for us to... Yes, we only have Geo City those days. Yep. Remember Geo City? Ah, uh, Geo oh, Cities I uh, sempat guna. Uh, Friendster sempat guna. I think the okay. the most advanced during that time 2004, 2003 is Friendster lah. MySpace masa tu. Ah, MySpace. But, but, that is uh, the only yeah. channel that we have. Yes. But but the number yang apa orang kata? The population people with that account masa tu sangat-sangat rendah. Compared to now. Sekarang, young people, 95% ada handphone. 87% memang data. akan ada. Yes. They have uh, so, smartphone with betul. internet. Yep. I'm not, I'm not saying that during that time, ta- uh, the student, they don't have problems. We do have problems during that time. Okay. <laughs> it's just that we might have a limited media to share. And then the 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 freedom to voice out tu agak limited lah. But young people nowadays kan, the students, budak sekolah rendah. If if they are not happy with the subjects, dia akan type lah. Mungkin dia akan buat video TikTok. Dia akan tunjuk. Saya tak abang kata tak happy hari ni belajar maths. It's kind of cute but this is the real thing that that happen. Maybe for them to talk to their parents macam mungkin my mom tidak memahami saya. Why not I put in the TikTok? Because everyone can view and and some of my viewers akan comments benda yang macam oh ada orang support saya. Uh, contohlah. But but when it comes to that that freedom, uh, there must be a certain ethical rules that we need to observe juga in the same time, right? So these are some of the categories why young people, why millennials, they are got so engaged socially in the internet. Okay, so I will share dengan you some of the content itself. 
Okay. The self-esteem ni is about understanding your own feelings and needs. And indirectly it will build the uh, communication and how you, you connected with your friend. Not you, mungkin dalam seribu orang Mungkin you punya real friends adalah 10% sahaja Okay, ataupun mungkin like 1% So having 10 good friends that give you support Give you a virtual hug Okay, that wanted to listen to you Somehow will motivate yourself to be compassionate for your own self And compassionate to other people as well Right? So your feelings show you what you need and whether or not those needs are being met. Kalau you tak happy during that time, maybe you have a tendency to post something that that talks about you. There is a, I mean like a simple jokes lah yang macam kawan-kawan I -kawan selalu cakap kan. Perempuan ni kalau dia tak happy, dia akan letak dia punya top, dia punya status, dia punya feelings dalam status. So you know that the girl is not happy. Lelaki tak, dia orang memang tak akan letak apa yang dia rasa dia orang jarang letak dalam Facebook dalam dia punya social media, okay? But lelaki dia akan cari okay the video that they can watch to help them untuk dia orang uh, apa ni counter the feelings ataupun do something yang apa orang kata sports ke dan sebagainya. Tapi perempuan ni you boleh faham dia. Oh macam you you wonder lah maybe like when when you and your friends you have not met each other for one year kan? But but uh, sometimes you will see that the status that being shared by your friends, okay? Maybe you found in a WhatsApp status ke, uh, post a story dekat Instagram ke, ataupun Twitter punya tweet ke, right? You found that, okay, your friend akan post something yang macam frustration, sedih dan sebagainya. From there, you can, you can try to connect with her, okay? Or him sebenarnya. And then... Uh, let 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 your friends to be open up to share what they have feelings during that time. So kalau macam perempuan ni memang dia tak puas hati je status keluar. Betul tak? Dia lelaki jarang sikit yang ai perasan lah. Unless kalau my 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 male friends population is lesser than female kan. Uh, so you you akan nampak okay perempuan ni dia lebih bersikap uh, apa orang kata dia ada emosi tendency yang tinggi. Okay. I'm not saying that uh, female ni being so emotional tak? They know how to handle their emotion and it's just that we've been gifted okay with 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 uh, a higher empathy punya level. Uh, so it's, it's very normal. So kalau macam uh, self-esteem ni lebih kepada you nak reflect, you nak reflect your own feelings and also you punya self-confidence in the same time. That's why people go online and sometimes that's why people try to view a, um, a positive content because we need that. We need the the good content for us to actually uh, to handle some of the emotion punya uh, stages. Okay, uh, some of the some of the feedback that we get from a girl, boy but this is the age number yang nama-nama sekolah lah the young, very very young people who are having access to the, so, the social media, right? So some of, uh, one one of the feedback, it mentioned that I think social media have a positive effect because it lets you talk to family members far away. Uh, ini kalau macam, macam sekarang ni memang, memang kita boleh experience lah benda-benda ni kan. And uh, another a girl, students actually age about uh, 15, I feel that social media can make people people might age feel less lonely or alone they perlu uh, connect to each other because we are the social animal. So memang kita rasa oh, okay I, I need to talk to someone. Okay. It creates a space where you can interact with people. Okay. And last but not least the boy ataupun the male punya feedback. It enables people to connect with friends easily and be able to make new friends as well. Uh, this is uh, no doubts lah. Memang confirm. You click follow, you click add friend, automatically dia akan, okay, if the person approve, then you will get another new friend. And mungkin every day you are making a new friend. Okay? Right? 
Okay, this is what I mean just now where the same group of uh, um, students, the young people just now, it, it mentioned that uh, it cite the greater access to news and information that social media facilitates about 60%. And also some of the information that, that related to our interests, okay, ataupun you might get connected with the person who are having similar interests in your social media by 15%. So that's why we always come back to the social media and indirectly the content, the feeds, the views, I mean the video that that that, that we watch, it builds our uh, compassion, it builds our characteristic as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, another feedback from the boys and girls lah kan. Okay. Youth also recognize the social media serve as an entertainment. Okay, sebab you macam, okay, I love to view my friends' video. I love to view what what my friends are doing, kan? Walaupun, walaupun sebenarnya, you think that this is very, uh, I think, I've been observed lah. It's not I think. I've been observed that because of the, the the PKP, most of my circle, my friends, they started to get a new pet. They get dogs, they get kucing, they get uh, hamster, they get fish, right? It looks like a very um, small things, all the little things. But these little things somehow makes me smile and feel better every morning. Because you yeah. are thinking, oh, so chomel, kan? Chomel and some of my friends starting to get a new baby, kan? Kids lah, baby lah, kan? So, they oh, happy, seronok, tengok, kan? But uh, one, one uh, real facts lah I wanted to show, kan? Uh, to share with you. I pernah dengar lah but I cannot quote di mana I dengar. I I ada dengar macam um, everyone, it's not everyone lah. Most of people have an interest in viewing our life. But we have to be careful not everyone are concerned with our life. So whatever that you've posted, you have to 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 ask yourself. Okay, adakah benda yang I post ni, content ni akan jeopardize perasaan orang? It's okay to be yourself. It's really okay to be to be your real self. Macam orang sekarang kata apa? Uh, just be yourself. Just just be present. Semua tu kan? But for me, kan? Because um, especially young people lah. Memang they are they are very passionate about their life. Dia dia memang macam okay. I'm being myself. Okay, I'm so confident that I'm enjoying myself, kan? So, uh, it's just that when 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 it comes to the content of the social media, or when it comes to the content of the videos that you share around, okay, you have to make sure that uh, will I be responsible if if there there is a consequences about this posting? Itu je. You can tanya kepada diri you. It's okay to post about anything. It's okay to post about politics. It's okay to post about a uh, financial issue. It's okay to post about other people. Okay. But you have to ask yourself, adakah saya akan bertanggungjawab if I do have consequences on that particular thing. Right. So youth also feel that this is the, the only space for them to self-expression and to get a support from others. Okay. Okay, one, 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 one of the feedback that we got here adalah uh, from the male punya student, form 5. Okay, uh, why he feels that the social media is the right platform for him because it feel because a lot of things created or made can spread joy. Contohnya macam I, I, I mentioned lah, you adopt a new and you new pet, you adopt a new flowers, new, new plants or you, you created you created a craft ataupun you write a book ataupun you created a, a role play video and then you publish that. That become a thing that can spread joyness to other people. Right? Uh, another feedback that we got adalah social media allow us, allow us to communicate freely and see what everyone else do, is doing. Sebab tu ada gunanya Twitter, a video, ada apa story in Instagram, TikTok kan. So semua orang macam boleh, okay I love to view other people but as long as it's not jeopardize my feeling then it is okay. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. not we okay. Just, just through it, right? Ah, kita go through uh, oh oh you know. okay dia ada kucing baru. Oh uh, okay dia ada dia ada adik baru. Okay dia beli apa orang kata drone baru kan. 
ataupun dia kata oh dia dah siap dia punya degree, dia dah finish up dia punya bachelor ataupun dia punya diploma. Okay. Yeah. Oh this uh, my 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 friend actually flew to to mana uh, to to Sarawak ataupun oh kawan saya dah dapat vaksin. I think that will be the most popular content lah nowadays. Okay. As long as you you view this content as the only content it won't jeopardize you punya mental ataupun you punya intention. Dia tak akan jeopardize. But if you view things and started to compare, that would be the biggest killer's mistake lah sebenarnya. Alright. But to compare to be better, okay. But when you compare, somehow you akan rasa macam, kenapa I tak dapat lagi? Kenapa I tak macam ni? When you keep asking that, it will affect you punya self-esteem. Right? So for me, viewing is okay. Kalau you rasa macam suka, okay, why not you just comment. But if you are not happy, either you said nothing or you just shut your mouth sahaja. Alright? When 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 you have nothing good, I mean like when you have nothing good to to be said, it is advisable for us to keep silent. Itu yang terbaik lah. Okay? And last but not least, uh, the a girl in age 15 uh, mentioned that we can connect easier with people who different places and we are more likely to ask for help through social media which can save people. Uh, so you, we have uh, observed, we have experienced where the white flags campaign being created, the idea being muted. So you nampak okay because of the social media, this is the content that that motivate us to be more compassionate. Okay, that, that actually oh, sebenarnya Malaysian people they are so supportive. Young people they are more supportive because they know how to utilize the orang punya platform. That's why you will found that most the influencer adalah di kalangan orang yang muda-muda. Because this this is this is the uh, the or, orang cakap apa this is the fight that they wanted to go for. Alright? Uh, so uh, we will get some of the support pun daripada uh, social media punya platform. Okay? Alright, um, I think that, that 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 will be all on my on my on my uh, sharing. Maybe after this, uh, me and uh, Cik Yanti we can uh, elaborate ataupun discuss some of the question that that some of your viewers posted, right? But for me, uh-huh. this one I I quoted from the guy Kawasaki from the Altop.com. Some of the quotes, right? Just be nice, okay? Take genuine interest in the people you meet online. Okay, virtually or physically and keep in touch with people you like. Okay, doesn't mean that people you don't like, you don't talk to them at all. Tak. Tapi you minimize the con- the contact because you don't want to create issues in between. Okay, this will create a group of people who are invested in helping you because they know you and they appreciate you. It same goes vice versa lah. You pun akan reflect the same energy to the people that be in your circle. Okay, just for me, if you wanted to go online, sometimes uh, try to seek for a different circle of your friends. Yang, di- yang different bubble because I tell you what, you will learn other thing as well. If you stay in the same circle, mungkin you akan belajar benda yang sama which is good. Okay, but if you try to go and explore a different circle of energy, you might find, okay, there is a lot of thing that I can learn from. There is a lot of thing that I can help other people as well. Alright, I think that's all for my sharing. Okay, I hope it's somehow beneficial the viewers can. Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll return to the, the session to Miss Yanti lah. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Shahida. Alright, yeah. so um, let, let's look at the comment. One of the comment is from Sohaya Musa. How do we get our addiction <laughs> towards social media? Sometimes okay. it can reduce yeah. our focus and productivity. So maybe okay. you, you can comment on this, Dr. Shahida. Comments, okay. Uh, macam I cakap lah, I'm not the person who came from the psychology unit and field practice. But this is what I've been doing and this is the same thing that I've been, I've been recommend to my students, my friends who are having the same issue with me because I experienced this thing on my on myself last time. When, when we keep on return back to the social media, what I did was I, I set the timing. 
I set the timing first. You have to make sure that for the first five to 15 minutes, you need to be focused on what you are doing presently. Kalau you tengah basuh kereta, basuhlah kereta. If you think that, oh, I want to post something that uh, when when I wash my car, okay, ambil gambar, post dahulu, put your handphone aside and focus on washing that. Alright, that would be the first tip. Second, set, uh, maybe you can download some of the apps lah untuk control ataupun to monitor the usage of the screen. Okay, macam my phone dia akan keluar alert lah. Correct. Seven hours is the maximum time for me to view the screen. Not, uh, I mean including YouTube, including uh, WhatsApp, okay, including uh, Instagram, uh, apa lagi, TikTok dan sebagainya. Alright, so you set that for your own self. But at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, why do I need to reduce that usage? Mungkin you rasa macam, oh, now I feel that unhappy because I keep on return back. I keep on op- reopen my social media. Why not for a weekdays, try to uninstall the apps or deactivate your account for a while. But for me, I would advise uninstall the app for a while lah. Okay, and let's see. But I tell you, you will get so surprised with your own achievement. You can say, oh, I can live with the Instagram. Okay, <laughs> Some, something like that lah. But for me, like, I I, I cannot really live without my Instagram because that, that is the only place that I can post about my, my, apa ni, my business. Uh, so I fikir, okay, this is the only way. But I, we try to make sure to limit and Make sure that the first thing in the morning, you can ask most of the successful people, try to not get attached with your phone. You bangun pukul lima, janganlah. Jangan, avoid. Avoid to check what is on the news today. Tak lah. You jangan buka you punya Instagram ataupun you punya social media in the first thing in the morning. Itu I punya advice lah. Right, okay. I hope that I can really only, uh, help you. We got a lot of info with Dr. Shiga today. Alright, so uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Shiga. Um, so okay, thank you, Kai. Kai <laughs> agree if we put what we have done for the kid to inspire people, why not? Okay. Yes. Alright. Yes. So, mm-hmm. um, so um, thank you very much, Dr. Shaida, for your um, thank you. sharing session today with us. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you for um, spend some time with us today for this um, an enlightening session. Okay, it is quite entertaining session today. All right, so um, this session gives us information knowledge which is really related to um, the, the use of social media nowadays. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay, so we we, we know the roles of social media. To develop, to develop compassion, all right, and then we can see the good side of social media. Not only to talk about the negativity of social media, but also the good side, the positivity. As what Dr. Shaida said, you know? um, she did mention about little things means a lot to us, right? Yes. Okay, even though we post about, oh, I have a new fish today, so it it brights our day. Right. Yeah, Again, yeah. we can use social media as a platform to learn the new things, to communicate with people, and also yes, build exactly. A network. Okay, so um, we appreciate you making time in your busy, busy schedule. I <laughs> no, even though it's weekend. All right, to be with us today. And thank you again, Dr. Shida, for your time. Hope to thank see you, again. Thank you, Zurianti and the viewers. Right. Thank you for having us. Enjoy okay, your thank you to the audience. <laughs> All right, thank you, Dr. Shida. Thank you to the audience. Okay, don't right. forget to click on the Facebook page to get your e-form, to get your e-certificate. Okay, oh. so that's all from us. Bye-bye. Right, bye. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> I'll see you Dr. Shaina. Enjoy your weekend. All right. Okay.